boy enrolled as a student of a school no peter cables and i know of another peter who peter pan and guess what he is here today pal house presenting peter pan Why? I saw a face at the window. Of 
face at the window two floors up it was the face of a boy he was trying to get in and he was not quite alone he was accompanied with i don't know how to describe it it was a ball of light that darted about in the room like a living thing that was quite a illusion george what can all this mean Why? It was 
be so none. I shall so wait up for you. I dare say it may hurt a little. I never cry. Ah, oh. there. Wendy, look, my shadow. Oh, I'm so clever. You're the cleverness of me. Oh, Peter, you are so clever. Shall I give you a kiss? If you please. Don't you know what a kiss is? I shall know when to give it to me. Now shall I give you a kiss? If you like. But then, why Peter, I will wear it on this chain on my neck. Peter, how old are you? I don't know. I ran away from home the day I was born. Ran away? Why? Because I heard my mother and father talking about when I became a man. But I don't want to be a man. I always want to be a little boy and to have fun. No one's going to catch me and make me a man. Fairies? You read in of fairies? Yes, but they're all nearly dead now. Why? You see, Wendy, when the first baby laughed for its first time, the love broke into a thousand pieces and went skipping about. But now, when every new baby is born, its first love becomes a fairy. So there is ought to be a fairy for every boy or girl. Ought to be? I mean, is it there? Oh no! There will be no such a lot now. Soon, they don't believe. And every time a child says, I don't believe in fairies. There's a fairy something that falls down there. Oh, what things! I can't think where she has gone to. Think of her? Think! Peter, wait. You don't mean to tell me that there's a real life fairy batter in this room? She gave it me. Daddy, I believe I should look in that drawer. How could I know you were in that drawer? What did she say? She is not a friend of mine. Think, you know that you can't be my fairy because I am a gentleman and you are a lady. <laughs> Baby, it's all right. She's staying up. Peter, where do you live? Neverland. Neverland? What does it look like? It's an island with hardly any space between one adventure and another. Oh, it sounds lovely. Who else lives there? The Lost Boys. Lost Boys? Who are they? They are children that fall out of the tram when the nurse is looking the other way. If they are claimed in seven days, they are sent far away to Neverland. I'm captain. Oh, what fun it must be! Yes, but we're rather lonely and none of us knows any stories. How perfectly awful. Wendy, your mother was telling you such a lovely story about the prince who could not find the lady who wore the glass slipper. Oh, that's Cinderella. He found her shoe and they lived happily ever after. I'm glad. Where are you going? To tell the lost boys. Don't go, Peter. I know lots of stories. Do you? All the stories I could tell the boys. Come on, Wendy, we fly. Fly? You can fly? Come on, Wendy, how we should all respect you. Would you teach John and Michael to fly too? If you like. John, Michael, wake up. There's a ball who's going to need us how to fly. There it is.
money in your hand. Join up and I'll be friend. And all those who don't, we work the plank. The choice is up to you. Be 
Peter? Peter, what is it? I was just thinking, it's only Peter. It's in the thing. I'm their father. But there are children, Peter. Yours and mine. But not really. Oh, well, not if you don't fish it. I don't.